Hello there, I'm Dr Sally Cathcart and I'm one of the founders of the Curious Piano Teachers. Thank you so much for clicking through to watch. Pretty much all pupils at some point in the learning process will have a dip in their levels of motivation and when that happens it's really vital that we help them to reconnect with the reasons that they started to learn in the first place. So to help with those very moments, we've created a motivation questionnaire, which you can see just here. And you can use this with your pupils. And it will help you to find out more about them. And really importantly, it will give your, vo your pupils a voice and it will help them to understand that you are really listening and valuing their opinions. So here are three suggestions I can make to help you use this. So the first thing is to set aside five minutes in a lesson and it can be at the start or it could be in the middle at the end. That's completely up to you. Something that is really um, set aside there. And that's your time that you're going to go through the questionnaire with them. So produce the questionnaire and just go through all the different questions. You can see that they are deliberately very simple and they're not deep or they're not going to take an awful lot of, of, uh, of time to answer. But you're just going to go through and make sure that the pupil understands. Um, you're going to send them home with the questionnaire. So you don't need to actually spend time with them filling it in. But what me might be quite nice is for you to share some of the things that you experienced when you were learning. So for example, with this question that says, um, what did you enjoy? What was the best thing about your piano lessons? And I can remember for me, when I was a beginner or an elementary student, I used to go along a few minutes early to my lessons and my piano teacher would have some far more advanced students there and I would sit and listen to them and I'm just sort of wide eyed with this idea that all those notes were coming out of this wonderful piano and maybe one day I could play like that. So share some of your experiences with your student so that they understand that yes you were like them at one point. And then, as I said, the third thing is to send them home with the, 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 the questionnaire and say that they're going to complete it in their own time at home. It can be part of their practice, of course. And um, then could they bring it back next week so you can they could share that with you and that you're really looking forward to seeing what it is that they find really so good about learning the piano. You might want to talk to parents as well and uh, get them in on the process because I'm sure they will really, really appreciate it. OK, so the final point that I just want to make is that this is something that I use with elementary uh, level students onwards. It's not something that I would use in the first year of somebody having piano lessons. So not probably for beginners, but from there onwards, I can use it with any students. So I hope that gives you some ideas and I hope you find it really useful resource. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to watch more videos from the Curious Piano Teachers here on YouTube, then you can just hit the subscribe button below and that will just keep you up to date whenever we pop a new video up there. Hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching again. Happy teaching. Bye bye for now.